<laughs> Thanks, LaFell. Thank you so much, panel. And yeah, with backs against the wall, Archives Esports says we'll bring out an Amon and it'll be a debut pickup. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they're grasping at straws at this point with this yeah. draft, right? I mean, we, we spoke about it. The range is significantly... It's going to be a significant, you know, uh, downside for Archives Esports draft. This Farsa and the Melissa is going to be able to bully them in the early game. And honestly, that mobility as well from the Farsa mid-control is going to be prior for yeah. both. Uh, you brought up a great point with me, though, Mirko. Behind the scenes, you mentioned you do like the Claude pickup against the lineup of Ren. That's true for me if they make it to the late game. Can they cross it? Again, Archives are comfortable and have shown that they can come back from behind positions. Can they do it here against a team that just dominated them in game number one is the biggest question. Was this? Will this Amon pick be the right call? Will they be able to find few? Because he will be a key piece here for Brand Esports. Mm -hmm. Especially because he went for the flicker, right? You can actually get out of the endless shards. And right now, wow, very aggressive early on. Already very different to game number one. Archives Esports are pushing the pace. Ogwen forced to back away. This mid lane prio is definitely going to give them a little bit of an edge here when it comes down to the lethal battle, but it's still the red tree from Kyle who secures the first lethal. That was a, such a beautifully timed stun there by Flap TZ. Kazan could have red treed that, but he was stunned by the Arlot. Great timing there. And again, if you haven't bought your tickets, well, get them now. Only 20,000 rupiah. And right now, these two teams are fighting for their ticket to Jakarta, to the finals. And you see here already Kazan behind. One level behind Kyle TZ. This is what I'm worried about, right? Especially when you give Kyle TZ something like a utility jungler who's able to push the pace and force out a lot of these engages and invades early on. KZ needs to wait for that endless charge. And even Ogwen is pulling him out. Now with Kyle TZ jumping in, he steals it away. KZ might fall here. It's going to be the Mortal Coil oh. and a Decimate right under the Tier 1. They're diving all the way. Another Decimate. Double kill. Not even the second minute of the game. There's a poetry to the fact that Bren Esports right now are starting off this game by decimating Archives Esports. Finding wins again. You mentioned it, Mirko. It is the timing of Bren Esports knowing that KTZ, if he can clear fast, if they can invade, they will do just that. Earlier they said we'll pressure Sumpak. Now they say we'll pressure Kazen and respect this Amon. And they're doing just that. Bren Esports, 2K, almost 2K gold lead 2-0 in kills two minutes and 23 seconds in counting what's the point of going for retry battles when you can just win it out by invading by getting exactly. that level lead and by killing the enemy jungler so they, they, he doesn't even participate in the turtle contest yeah what is team fighting for your team what is contention we don't know that, says Bren Esports. And look at it again, they're pressuring Kazan's jungle. They know what contention is, but it's only for the enemy buff. Final Slash brings it back. Kyle Teasy should be able to retrieve this, but it's a good taunt there. Kyle's still able to get it. And the shards and the appraiser's wrath finally punishing Kyle Teasy. But it's still the or purple buff stolen away. So Kazan, I don't think it's worth it for him. Yeah. Purple Buff steal, but Brent Esports still in the lead despite getting that kill. But we saw a glimpse there of the hope for Archives is that, well, they can counter punish. But right now, Archives needs to find a way to help some back out a little bit more as Ogwen is applying the pressure. Oh, they're going in. Wild Charge as well. That's going to be the go away as well to display Spider Miles as he gets brought back, but he's still able to escape right now oh. with the go away. That's going to be the flicker and the blazing duet dealing enough damage. But it's Lancey who gets the kill, not Sumpak. Oh, Sumpak getting his revenge after that game number one, saying, you know what? I'm going to have a better start here, and he is. Although there is a kill on Super Marco's board already, Sumpak is ticking his condition slowly. Three minutes in and counting, but he's able to farm up better. Pickups there, few just got the Clock of Destiny, while Sumpak already built the DHS. It's going to be another objective steal rough. by Kyle TZ. Very rough. rough. To level lead already as early as the third minute, and he's already doing all this. And yeah. This is actually what makes... Kyle special. He just he doesn't just utilize the lead to go for team fights, random pickoffs on the map, but he pushes the tempo so early on to a point where the enemy jungle can't even contest for any objectives. As an analyst, these are the moments where my analysis can just be simplified as simplified as oof. And there's pauses on the board right now for archives. Brand Esports still in the lead here, and it's not a thing. Brand Esports comfortable.
forcibly invading the jungle and taking resources away from archives. And if you're archives right now, what, what are you thinking about, right? Because honestly, looking at the winning condition, it comes down to how they utilize the Minotaur Claw and combo in the team fights in the mid game. Thing is, it's getting to that mid game. You mentioned it early on, uh, the Claw pick, I think it's good up against the Farsa and the Melissa, but it's all about getting to that power spike, which is, for the Claude, the three items, DHS, Golden Staff, and Corrosion Scythe. Yeah, and that's the question for me right now is, brand new sports, I get why they're pressuring Kazen, but at the same time, it's like, you need a little bit more pressure on Zumba because you cannot let him free farm. You cannot let him live comfortably. If ever it's going to be Melissa and Claude farming equally, and then all the action is happening elsewhere. Brandy Sports are going to get surprised eventually. It's like, where is this damage from this Claude coming from? Especially considering they won't be able to completely just burst him down with a call altar ready to save him with those dives. It's all about how they utilize this proper front to back, but diving at the right time to create a certain chaos to Bren Esports, where they can't really just stick to their... Well, well, never mind. Okay, oh. they're doing it. They're doing exactly what you said. <laughs> they heard me. They heard <laughs> us. All the way. Oh, Spider Miles. Good flicker in. It's a trade back, but it's the Roamer who picks up the kill for a kill earlier to Super Marco. Okay, they traded, but yeah, exactly. Bren Esports mm. heard us all the way here from Malaysia. They decided to go for Sumpak's lane, but yeah, that was just at the cost of Super Marco's life. Top side, a little bit of action, but... Not a lot of worry here for Archives or Bren. Bren gets a second turtle without a problem. Flap should be able to survive this Endless Shards. Oh, an early flicker not to dodge from the Endless Shards, but just to get some distance away from Kazen and Lord JM. As you can see, Lord JM is also giving away some minions to Kazen, but unfortunately for him, he didn't get it at the right time. It was yeah. still below five minutes, so he did not get the XP from that. The timing was just a bit off there, but you see here, Bren Esports actually respecting the magic damage that could come out of Archives. Already built two Radiant Armors, one on Kyle TZ and one on Flap. So wow. for me, that's already a sign for Bren saying, Oh, make it one better. Make it three. <laughs> Why not build a Radiant Armor on Super Marco as well? Making Kazen unable to play right now. That's a Feather Airstrike, but Sumpak will just be able to escape yeah. with the Battle Mirror image placed below or up top actually yeah that's a sign already by brand saying you know what we're all right we've solved the kzen problem let's turn our focus to sumpak and that's exactly what they're doing now sumpak again already able to build a good amount of items for himself or get a bit of a uh, good a bit of a farm to make it just slightly level but super marco does have the one level lead over him yeah, it's finally a normal time uh, to get the uh, DHS now for Super Marco. Yeah. <laughs> we saw the seven minute Golden Staff. It can certainly happen still in this game if he gets a few more kills, but it does seem like Archives Esports, they have a better hold into this game. And now in the mid lane, though, oh. it's going to be an easy siege. And another Feather Airstrike comes down. Kazen is taken that low. And just like that, Kyle Teasy should be able to find this for free. And the charge comes down, but that's what we were talking about. Nah. Kazen is so far behind, he can't even burst the Farsa. Oh, that's a bad sign there for Archives Esport. Most importantly, they lost their mid lane tower. They gave it up for nothing. And that's what Bren Esports loves. If they can find a way to take down the mid tower early on, they will be comfortable with their lives. Knowing that, again, they are up against the claw. They're waiting for that. They pressured Kazen. This will be a free turtle for Kyle TZ. Next major rotation should be onto the lane where Sumpak is. If it's not going to be that, it's just going to be them saying, you know what, let's just find a kill somewhere else in the map. Ooh, turtle, third one. No contest once again. Archives Esports, at this point, it's three levels. Kyle TZ is ahead three levels. And because Kazan's not an assassin, you can expect this lead to grow. Yeah. That's what we call in the Philippines, that's a strug. <laughs> they are struggling right now. Archives and Brand Esports are not letting go. Golden Staff, the timer is ticking here for Brand Esports to shut down some back or build up enough items so that when he gets his final, you mentioned Corrosion Scythe, mm -hmm. that they'll have enough defense to hold on against that Claude. At this point, I'm actually thinking about what he wants to build next, Sumpak, right? Because, okay, the, the, the power spike happens in Corrosion oh. Scythe, but now the final slash, if the airstrike is able to connect onto the back right now, Lord JM gets the appraiser's wrath to sustain a bit more, even the healing, but Kyle's looking for a Retrian oh. Decimation! Now with the Mortal Coil escaping from the minions here, he's just walking out. Yeah, it's just a slow walk out there Relaxing. for Bren Eastmore. Just relax. A nice walk in the park, which is the mid lane of Archives right now, and that is the continued invasion. Can they steal it? Oh, no! Oh, no way! Kyle didn't have the Retrian, he still lost it! Now Spider Miles running away, Zumpa with the Blazing, he went to the back line, Fuse still able to sustain, flickers out! Battle Mirror Image from Zumpa oh. with the final Flash breaker combo. Sumpak should fall here. And it is a recall oh. wall from Ogwen. 
He got slammed to the wall by The Rock. Oh, that just reminded me of a song from way back when Chris Brown wall to wall and his boss to the wall for Bren. Another kill for them and it's some Oh man, really walking archives down with another final slash. Lord JM is displaced. I don't think there's gonna be a kill threat here, but it's all about the mental game. Just like LaFell mentioned, it's not about winning the game. It's about winning the lane. It's about destroying them mentally. It's the mental game. It's the mental game. Get into the mind palace of archives and say, it's our house now. And that's what Brent Esports aren't exactly saying. Actually, KZen earlier not being able to get his purple buff, even though Kyle Tizi didn't have this retribution, was him pull, trying to pull off a desperation move. That's how desperate he was for a buff then, which is understandable. I feel for Archives right now. I, I can't feel for Archives right now. I mean, I can't feel what they're oh, experiencing. Oh. Lord Jam gets brought back once again. Super Marco with the go-away. The Predator Airstrike comes down. But the Blazing Duet's going to be cancelled out as Ogun finds a good wild charge. Now it's only few taken down. One for zero. Good trade for Archives. Papdizi jumps back in. The Endless Charge takes him down. But Super Marco on the back. Free hitting <laughs> as he destroys oh. everyone with a double kill. And look, Kyle is still there to pick up the scraps. The brand janitor is what I call him this game because he cleans up. I like it. Check his birth certificate. First name, super. Last name, Marco. Check his occupational ID. It says Brent Janitor. Let's look at the instant replay. What a call there by Brent Esports to continue fighting despite them getting pressured. Despite Archives finding a great pickoff and a key hero in the Farsa. Oh, it looked good man. for Archives, but it looked even better for Super Marco. As a Melissa player, I cannot imagine anything better than that. Five people clumping up to the muddles. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful, man. Beautiful indeed. Threading the needle multiple times. More plays by Bren. Get walled. The Praiser's Wrath. This time, it's not going to happen the way it happened last time all for the other team. I'm like, I'm um, talk about that, right? Yeah. And not, not right. Not again. No, no, no. That's not going to happen. And Bren Esports just continuing this. Archives. How? Where can they find the play? Where can they find the mental? to come back from this after getting demolished in game one, getting decimated early in game number two. Can they find a turnaround? I don't think so right now. With a stun as well, Kazen walks into the cold altar, still able to survive, but Muddles is placed down. They can see it's just down like it's nothing with a feather airstrike as well. It's a dive with a vengeance from Flap. Ogwen even just walking up. Lord JM is trying to give some space over to the rest of the team, but Bren, it looked like Archives had better control this guy, this game. But Brandon have cracked the base with the First Lord, so it's even faster! Yeah, uh, suddenly an 8,000 gold lead for Brandon Esports has ballooned. And Archives are starting to regret giving up that mid lane tower without anything, without no comeback from them as Brandon Esports use that as their launching pad to get it to this point right now. Archives, you see them looking at different angles. You see them trying to find a way to crack the Bren Esports uh, formation, but because of them knowing that they don't have the items they need, the damage and the defense they need to survive a team fight, if they can't catch that Melissa, they're hesitant and understandable. They're just trying to hold on right now. 2.93k ahead on the Melissa against the Quan. This is a matchup that Quan actually does well in. The fact that you know, the Melissa, last game, it's fine. You know, it's yeah. against a Brody. Brody doesn't do well against the Melissa. But yeah. the fact that now he's on a Claude and, well, something has changed. It's not 3.5k, it's 2.8k. <laughs> it's a little bit closer now for some pop and archives here. But, yeah, the lead is ballooning. Brandy Sports just continuing this onslaught. At this point, they'll, it's close to a miracle. What they will need. A miracle? A miracle. A miracle. A miracle. Yes, a miracle. miracle. A Marco? Marco. A Marco. A Super Marco. A Super Marco. Well, Brandy Sparse already has the Super Marco. Our guys will need a Super Miracle at this point. You see them again, they're trying to find it, but they just don't have the resources. If they can somehow burst out and catch out Super Marco, that will be the key. Because after that, they just need to somehow survive. Few flap easy, which I think without the Melissa, they'll fare better at. In the movie, spider Mouse is the hero. Let's see if he can be the hero in this game. Lord JM melted down, forced oh. to run away right now. spider Mouse, that's the hero play, but it's not gonna happen. He finds the Minion Fury. Oh. He finds another knockup to displace them, but he's gonna fall. A winner truncheon from Few to get out of the Endless Charge, as that's the stun for Soompok. A final slash to displace him to cancel out the Blazing Duet. And unfortunately, it's not gonna go down like in the movies for spider Mouse. 
archives see themselves as the hero. If they're the hero, Bren are chilling like villains right now, potentially looking to book their ticket to the finals. Book their ticket to Jakarta. What will our guys do? Lord JM gonna be gunned down. There is a flicker forward. Lancey unable to escape as the wild charge not just confirms the game, but confirms the slot for Bren in Jakarta. Outgunned. Outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned, flexing out are the newly minted buffer members of Bread Esports with a buff and strong performance against Archives, sweeping their fellow Filipino representatives as they go <laughs> to Jakarta. Look at Flap. Take that dance, Flap. Take that dance.